What's up guys, it's Jay and Andy from Vanguard Tricking. Today we're gonna to be going through the original kicking trick, the 540. Let's get it. So before we get started on the 540, as always there are some prerequisites to the trick. The first one's gonna be the rear leg roundhouse kick. We're also gonna to need to be able to do a tornado kick. It also helps if you can do a tornado kick to both feet and just general all around good kicking flexibility. Okay, drill number one, we're actually gonna be going to the floor for this one so we can learn the feel for the 540 kick as well as any other type of swiping motion. So this drill, what we're doing is getting used to the swiping motion of the 540 and it's gonna help train our timings and our muscles to get used to how it feels to actually do the trick. Now, not only is this good for 540, as I said, it's also good for things later on down the line, things like side swipe, etc. So starting on your back, you're gonna have your non-kicking leg in front of you. We're going to imagine that the ceiling is gonna be our target. It will usually be horizontal when we're kicking. We're lifting up the first leg, the non-kicking leg, and we're getting used to the slice of it going over. Now, rather than just relaxing and just letting the leg hit the floor, I want you to think about keeping the leg tense and also keeping your body, your core tense as well, and keeping everything in sync so that you actually start to rise up onto that leg, similar to how it's going to eventually be in your 540. If you're just letting the leg relax and hit the ground, then your muscles aren't working together. So, Try and get it exactly as I'm showing you now so you can get everything working at the same time. So practice this drill until you're fairly comfortable with it. Just make sure that when you're doing it, your hips aren't remaining square so your legs not doing this and you're crossing yourself over. That's a common mistake on the 540. This drill is to help you learn to turn your hips over. Drill number two is gonna be the leg swing and landing on it. This is gonna get us used to the feeling of it and it's also gonna help us learn where to spot. So really easy drill. It's gonna help us get used to the feeling of actually taking some impact on that leg. For the 540, your inner groin muscles and the landing leg, the ankle, are gonna to start to take, as I said, a little bit of impact. So we need to start to condition. And this is a good way to just make sure that your ankles and your legs are, are ready for it. When you're doing it, put your kicking leg, your 540 leg at the back, and we're just gonna swing it up to the front, just like a normal uh, dynamic stretch. At the point where it reaches roughly at your head height, you're just going to kick over and land onto that foot. For the first few reps, you might want to look at the ground as you're doing that so you can sort of see where you're gonna go. But later on, or after a few of them, you wanna make sure you're looking forwards as the kick passes 12 o'clock and then turn as you're starting to spot your landing. Drill number three, secret sauce time, hop over drill. Before we do the hop over drill, just a very quick word of warning. You need to be able to do this, a single leg knee to chest. So non-kicking leg's gonna be up, and we're just gonna see if we can get this leg to come to the same level and land again. So like this. Fairly simple, but 540 and any kind of kick where it involves a swipe does involve a certain level of core strength and leg strength and ankle stability. So. If you can't comfortably do that, practice it a lot. Um, if you can, let's move on to the next drill. Again, kicking leg at the back, non-kicking leg in front. You're gonna raise the non-kicking leg. The next thing, of course, is to get the knee not only to the same level, but we're gonna try and go over the top. So, a way that I like to imagine it is that there being a target or some kind of pad that I'm hitting with my knee, which is just here. And my kicking leg has to come up and hit that. That's gonna get us used to, again, that swiping 540 motion. Like we said on some of the previous drills, we don't leave our hips facing forwards like this. You're gonna hop over the top, and at that point where your knee is in front and you're facing forwards, you're gonna start to turn your shoulders and turn your back. Everything works uh, in sync, so our whole body should always be in this position together. So it's not our knee overtaking. When we get to that point where the knees are, everything's gonna turn. We should land with ourselves turned uh, away from our target. 
and then we're going to turn back out at the end of the drill. And just a quick note about the arms, they're not the focus of this drill, but you will start to naturally lift them up. We're going to come back to the arms and what they do in the 540 in the next drill. Drill number four is going to be our mini 540. Now for this drill, all we are doing is that we're taking that hop over drill and mashing it together with our normal tornado kick setup. So there's actually a few stages though that which you can do this in. You can do it with a break between the step through and then the hop over drill. You can then start to blur that together so that the, we're doing the cheek setup into the hop over drill. But the thing that we want to get to is starting to extend that leg. Now, if I knew this drill, when I first started tricking, this would save me about two months of destroying myself on grass. So first of all, we're gonna go from our cheat setup. You should know that by now. If you don't, then go back and practice your tornado kick. But we're gonna get into our cheat setup position like this. Before we talk about the arms, we're just gonna step through with our leg. So our kicking leg is gonna come through as normal. We're then gonna turn over our shoulder as normal as you do on a tornado kick. Now we're going to switch drills. Lift your knee up, now it's time to do the hop over drill. So from here, same as you've done before, just getting used to jumping over, turning your shoulders, turning your hips, landing with your back facing the target. Now you need to be able to do that and blur it all together. Okay, this is where it starts to come uh, into its 540 shape. So now we're stepping through, still just doing it with our knees. But that's pretty much how a 540 feels. Next, all we're gonna do, again, you can put the, the brake in there if you want to, just stepping through and pausing. But all we're gonna do is start to extend our kick just a small amount. It doesn't have to be the highest kick in the world, which is the mistake that I made, trying to just do the best 540 ever straight away. Just do it down here, okay? So as we begin to do our step through and lift up, we're just gonna be aiming to do a small arc over the top. Um, make sure that when you do it, you are trying to you know, kick that leg, don't relax too much, um, otherwise you can injure your ankle um, on the landing. But it should just look a little bit like this, we're stepping through nice and easy, and just keeping that leg straight. Now, as you get used to it, it's just dialing everything up, that's going to lead into the next drill. One more thing though, we've got the arms, which we said we would speak about, so let's go. On the setup. You need to make sure we're hitting a 45 degree motion off, so 45 degrees this way, okay? As we step through, we're also going to hit a 45 degree down motion, this way. And it's really important that we bring these arms back up. Now the arms should remain up, about this level, until the point you kick. As soon as that slice of the 540 starts to happen, we're going to start to coil them in towards our left shoulder, if you're tricking the same way as me. Um, and they just remain there then, their job is done. As soon as they've gathered that lift, they're just going to coil in and we ride out the end of the move and finish like so. So keep practicing this stage of the move until you can get it comfortable 10 out of 10 times. Your ambition should be backed by ability here. So just because you can do it at say a shin level or hip level, you might not be ready to do it um, completely vertical or whatever just yet. So start to ramp it up, record yourself, go through the stages and get used to the feeling of it. As you do that, you're gonna be building your muscles to be stronger and you're gonna be getting used to the feel of the move in your head and used to the terms of the landing and the timings and all that sort of stuff. Drill number five, turning it into a true 540. So by now we've got our mini 540 drill that we've been doing, but we need to take it to that next level. The things that I want you to think about when doing the 540, number one is gonna be your takeoff. So when you go to set up and you're about to swing your arms, we need to swing them fast, but there's a difference between swinging them fast and swinging them uh, tense, okay? So you can only obtain speed if we're relaxed. So stay relaxed during the setup. But as we step through, we need to very quickly hit those angles that we spoke about as we come back to here. That speed is going to lift your upper body and then our lower body, our legs, are going to be there to do the motion which we've been drilling. The other thing that you need to think about is as you're in the air, is 
you're starting to, the point where you're gonna kick, you're gonna need to kick pretty hard. By kicking hard, it's gonna give you a lot more power and speed uh, in, in terms of how it looks, but it's also gonna start to lift you up a little bit more as well. Just like on the rear leg roundhouse kick, we wanna lift the leg to 12 o'clock and then kick through. So even though we're thinking about kicking hard, we don't wanna kick straight away and peak that kick too soon, making it a heavy landing. So fast arms, fast legs are lifted up and then kick through hard. That goes back to that slicing drill we were doing on the floor as well. So if you've been following Jay's tips, you should have a level three 540 by now. This is what I mean by a level three trick. Check out this video over here where we discuss grading your tricks. Now 540s are really versatile. You can do them into and out of a whole bunch of tricks. You can also do them with different aesthetics as well. We're gonna run through some tips as to how to make those little tweaks and changes. Okay, so everything we've done so far has just been general 540 practice and general 540 tips. Once you've got it to a level where you're doing the 540 and you're going to be using it for different combos, you're gonna to start to want to think about the way in which you throw the kick. So if we're wanting to do another vertical kick straight after our 540, for instance, a Miss Leg 900 or a Chi 900, then we're gonna to want to be a little bit more on top. And what we mean by that is that we're not leaning back in the 540 or looking to the side as we fire the kick. So we can also do 540 into cartwheel, aerial, or B-twist. But then we have to give our upper body the space to make the right shape for the takeoff. If we did, did what Jay just said there and stay on top of it, our upper body hasn't got any space to make the shape. So if we're doing the 540 like that, we need to come a little bit further over and give our upper body some space to come around either into the cartwheel, reaching for the aerial, or setting into the B-twist. So we make our 540 a little bit longer. The other thing that you might be wanting to tweak for your 540 is when you are chasing certain aesthetics. So if you're just doing the 540 by itself and you want it to look a certain way, some people like to lay their 540 back and it's not so much about laying the 540 completely back, you're just lifting up the lead leg as high as you can uh, before you fire and keeping that chest high. So if you wanna have an absolutely killer 540 just on its own, remember the little things make the biggest difference. Pointing your toes makes a huge difference. Pulling your arms all the way in and squeezing tight will make you rotate faster and also it'll look a whole lot tidier. Closing thoughts on 540, it's a basic kick. It's fairly easy to get down, so practice it hard as it is the foundation for a lot of other more advanced kicks. If you've got a solid 540, it means you can start building towards things like jackknife, 540 gyro, side swipe like we covered in this video over here, and a whole bunch of other combinations that you might not have been able to do before. And that brings us to the end of this week's tutorial for 540. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything that we've got going on, on the channel. And if you're practicing your 540 and you manage to get it down, or you want some extra tips, make sure you tag us on the Instagram at Vanguard Tricking. We'll check that out. But we shall see you guys next time. Peace.